I do not drink shitty whiskey out of dog hole. I drink very good whiskey out of dog hole. Good night. Thank you very much. So you've seen the real Bruce Campbell. You happy now? This movie is like a PR person's worst nightmare. There was a puddle here earlier. It's gone now. No one piddled during this this movie tonight. That's good. That's a good sign. Uh, anybody curious about anything? Or we just want to go out and try and start your car? <laughs> what is it like? It's four degrees. Just it's a quick note. It's four, four degrees. To you, that's like 70. I, 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 but to me, I work in Miami. That's like... The, it's like Mars, the surface of Mars. <laughs> yes, right here. Um, you've worked on movies, television, and I've also found out that you work on video games as well. I've worked on television, movies, and video games. So, you just found that out. <laughs> Does it hurt living under that rock? <laughs> no, that's fine. That's okay. It's a cold rock, too, up here. <laughs> Which is my favorite. I come from Detroit, uh, and we like manufacturing there, so I like job rotation. <laughs> a little this, a little that. Yes. Yes, back there. Uh, I've really enjoyed your character in Burn Notice. Enjoyed was... my character in Burn Notice. Thank you for, yeah. for mentioning... Thank you. Thank you for mentioning the, uh, the number one show on cable. Yes. Appreciate you bringing that. <laughs> we have a special guest tonight. Artie Molesky is here tonight. Artie, where are you, buddy? Stand up. Come on. He's the stunt coordinator from Burn Notice! Yeah. Uh, do not approach him, he'll kick you in the face. <laughs> he'll kill you in a spy way. He'll kill you, won't even know you're dead. <laughs> yes? Well, all the great cameos featured in this movie at great expense, I want to just let you know. Tim Quill from Army of Darkness, and he, he was in the Spider-Man movies too. He pointed out something very important to me. If he wasn't in those movies, Uncle Ben would still be alive. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a weird little thing. <laughs> but anyway. I couldn't wrangle Sam Raimi yeah. to be in this movie? <laughs> I can't even get that son of a bitch on the phone. <laughs> Spider-Man, who's calling? Bruce Campbell. No, not available. <laughs> After I named the character in the first Spider-Man. <laughs> if I wasn't in the first Spider-Man as the ring announcer, this billion dollar franchise would be called the Human Spider. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's right. Mr. Sam Spider-Man, Remy. Part two. The snooty usher. <laughs> yeah. Spider-Man's trying to see Mary Jane in a play. Does he get in the theater, yes or no? Nope. No. No, technically I'm the only character who's ever defeated Spider-Man. <laughs> I won't even get into part three, because he comes to me for help. It's embarrassing. Uh, so, no, we can't get Sam. No. No, I, so we had to settle for Ted Raimi. <laughs> He's a lot cheaper, believe me. And I use Ted in everything I do. We've done 11 movies together now, because Ted makes me look like a better actor. <laughs> People watch Ted, they go, God, what a ham, give it a break. They see me, they go, hey, <laughs> he's smooth. <laughs> it's all part of my plan. Everybody, put Ted Raimi in your movie if you want it. You want you to look better. <laughs> and thank God nobody's recording anything here tonight, because he'll never hear that. 